Mrs. Wimble's hat. Mrs. Wimble had a new pet, a delightful little terrier. He was white with a brown ear and a patch over one eye. So she named him Patch. He was a very naughty puppy. He chewed up the morning papers, her slippers and the legs of tables and chairs. He dragged the bath mat around the house. He dug up the flower beds and tipped over the potted plants. One day, Patch went missing. After a while, she heard a rumpus and ran out. It was her neighbor, old Miss Grange, chasing something with a broom. Patch shot out through the hedge and ran to Mrs. Wimble. Miss Grange's head appeared above the hedge. That dog, she screeched. He has chased my poor cat all over my house and they have torn a curtain and a cushion. If I catch him here again, and she waved the broom threateningly over the hedge. Mrs. Wimble grabbed Patch by the collar and took him inside. She gave him a scolding. He sat with his ears and his tail drooping for a few minutes before he took off for his next adventure in the house. Mrs. Wimble decided to train him. The next day, a trainer arrived. Patch took a great dislike to him immediately. Every time he came, Patch hid himself. Finally, Mrs. Wimble decided to train him herself. She hauled him off for a bath whether he liked it or not. She brushed him till his coat shone. Then she gave him a biscuit. Then she said, Sit, Patch, and she herself showed him how to sat down. Patch watched with his head tilted. Then he thought he should go along with her. Maybe he would get another biscuit. So when she said sit, he sat down and looked at her hopefully. He got another biscuit. After this, Mrs. Wimble found it easier to teach him how to sit up, fetch, run, catch, jump and many other things. But he couldn't stop chewing things. One Sunday, Mrs. Wimble was getting ready for church. She put on her shoes and collected all the things she needed. But she couldn't find her hat. It was a special silk hat given to her by her grandma. She found it under the sofa with all the corners chewed off terribly. Patch! She yelled. No biscuits for you today, said Mrs. Wimble. Patch knew he was in trouble. After one look at Mrs. Wimble, he hid behind the curtain. When she returned, Patch was sitting looking so miserable that she picked him up. Patch never again chewed up things. Thanks for watching the story.